Good morning. Thank you all for being here. I'm Devin Stone and I'm going to be the moderator for this webinar. I'm an owner and partner in construction programs and results, markupandprofit.com. Brian Javelin is our presenter and I promised I'd make this introduction real short so I'm going to let him go. But real fast, Brian, Brian has done an incredible job helping contractors improve their websites and that's why we're happy to have him here. Brian? Thank you, Devin, and I want to open up with I made a mistake because it's 15 website lead ideas in 20 minutes, but I actually thought it was 20 ideas in 15 minutes, so let's go. The purpose of this webinar is to first make sure that everybody understands and that they could easily master online website marketing. It's your only, repeat, only 24 by 7 by 365 days a year marketing opportunity. But the problem is, too many people are selling leads to contractors laughing their way to the bank, predominantly because Google, uh, contractors don't understand. But the great thing is, Google's new algorithms are finally going to be giving contractors a fighting chance without much effort. So let's begin to broad stroke everything from entry level to advanced philosophies. Beginning with, who, does, who owns your domain? When you have a website, many times you might have hired someone to do your work, well, before you work with someone like myself to help guide you, find out whether the site is yours. Verify whether the site, the domain is yours and whether you have control to make changes on your own. Number two, take advantage of SEO from day one. Treat your website similar to having a child and not waiting to name the child until that child crawls. You need to start with a home page as fast as possible because the time that SEO begins to take effect you will already be able to catch up and play with the cosmetics and content of your site. Number three, make sure that your 301 redirect is working. How do you know? Go to something like my website, myonlinetoolbox.com, by typing in www.myonlinetoolbox.com, and then remove the www. and hit enter, and you'll see that it changes in front of your eyes. Many times, it's simply just a little turn-on button or a checkbox, like I show here at GoDaddy on the bottom left, to check your 301 redirect and just turn it on. Number four, make sure your phone number is on the top right preferably, but at least somewhere on every single page. Each page will be designed to be a landing page in search. You always want to get a consumer a phone number to dial right then when they're landing on that particular page. Speaking of phone numbers, please, when we hang up this uh, from this webinar, immediately call your voicemail, and listen to the messages. I just had a client tell me that they have not gotten leads for many, many months. We dialed their phone number. It turned out to be a message saying that they were on vacation from the summer. So please, double check your voicemail to make sure that it's not inadvertently having people drop off from uh, leaving a message for you. Number five, do not purchase links at all. Many people do understand that inbound links is a reputation to your website, so they sign up or SEO people like to impress you that they can get you those links. It's deceptive. Google will see it as a scheme, and then they could ignore your pages or your websites. Number six, ensure that you will get credible inbound links to your site. They come from different directions, but treat links as nothing other than a confirmation of your rep reputation one job at a time. Don't try to circumvent this very important aspect of credibility to your site. In my case, I have periodicals such as Entrepreneur Magazine and some technology journals. I have industry resources such as the moderator here of this uh, forum uh, topic, webinar, excuse me, markup and profit, and even customers. But focus in on getting inbound links to your website. Number seven, reciprocate outbound links. What that means is, I pat you on the shoulder and say you're a good person, and simultaneously you're saying I'm a good person. Reciprocated links add extra strength to uh, showing the reputation through Google that your site is of a, of a quality nature. Number eight, help engines learn about your website. So in my case, when you look at, if you go to the home page today, you'll see there's a spot that says access the free contract to website SEO webinar. That link helps Google learn how I navigate from one page to another. But when you're doing this, number nine, make sure that the anchor text or the words are used appropriately. Time after time again, I go over to contractor sites when I'm helping them, and many times they will say, learn more about this here, learn more about this there. And then they hyperlink the there and the here to a site, but it's not helping 
Google learn what is it that you're talking about. So in my case, I would say access the free contract or webinar, webinar series and hyperlink that. I would not link it with just the word here. Number 10, make sure each web page has its own title tag, preferably unique title tag. What's a title tag? Go to your browser, take your mouse, highlight, just rub over the top, and you'll see different words come up. Those words are critical to having an engine find that particular page. And the uniqueness of that title tag is pretty much one of the most critical topics that we could possibly emphasize when it comes to SEO. Looking at the pictures, of course, I'm trying to guide people to my site at one point on how do you learn more about the details, and then eventually sign up. So we have two images on the left and the right. What happens is make sure all your pictures have a description. So in this case, I have the how do I learn as one example, and then the, buy, the sign up now as another example. But what's more important is what's called the associated text. That is what's telling Google, what am I talking about? Many times I go to contractor sites and they have dozens upon dozens of pictures. And when I rub over them, it always says picture one, picture two, picture three, when it should say kitchen remodeling job, bathroom remodeling job, or whatever it may be. But it, should, it, it has to be utilized to tell Google what is the picture about. Number 12, get testimonials and never stop getting them. It's unbelievable how many contractors are missing out on the opportunity for future marketing. When you're in front of a customer, it's the most powerful opportunity when you're give, having a handshake with someone to have them write a testimonial. And if you need help after this webinar, come to me and I'll be able to explain how you're able to position for getting more testimonials before your job begins. Number 13, keep your site alive. It's easy. You have to do three things. Add new pages, change existing pages, and use your home page to support those additions and changes. An example for me, I was featured in Remodeling Magazine, so I had an individual page, uh, which is on the right-hand side where it says My Online Toolbox featured in Remodeling Magazine created, but then I used my home page to support and re-emphasize specifically what I was adding new to my site. You could do that for all of your jobs. Need help on this? We have a website calendar that helps guide you to remember little reminders about additions, changes, and home page uh, additions. Number 14, don't compete against yourself. I can't beat this war drum enough about not accepting the terms and conditions of many lead generation companies. Here's an example of a client who they signed up and when we did a quick study, we were able to find that five out of six references to their company name drove traffic to one of their competitors. Why? They stopped paying a certain advertising fee and the competitor was paying more, so their name was being used against them. I implore you to read the terms and conditions before checking away because the long-term consequences are critical to the success of your own website marketing. And number 15, if you've already signed up, don't compete against yourself. Load pictures, testimonials, video, anything on your website first before loading them anywhere else. A reporter of a magazine wouldn't go ahead and give his information to a competitive magazine. Don't do the same thing because it's very detrimental to all of your other online marketing efforts. Content is king, but optimized content is queen, knight, and rook. Everybody is begging for a contractor to load their pictures and testimonials on their site first because they understand the implications. So if you're going to do it, even though I suggest not to, at least do it on your own site first and optimize it before giving the rights away to somebody who may sell those leads to your competitor. Okay, bonus round, number 16. Video is ridiculously easy. Who owns YouTube? Well, I just did a study last night, and the three top sites in the world is Google, Facebook, and YouTube as of last night. YouTube is owned by Google. Your entire life, you could be easily able to capture a short video of a before-after picture and then optimize it. Keep it in mind that YouTube is a wonderful resource to get free marketing, and it's underutilized by so many contractors. Number 17, being prepared for Google's algorithm change. There's a link that I have on my site that gets a much more detailed, but in summary, content marketing is the big buzz. What's going to happen is a lot of SEO companies are now going to struggle 
because taking like a service location or a particular service and just doing cut and paste, cut and paste on a website is going away. You need to have unique content. The two key, uh, main points of what you're looking at in the middle is regular, helpful content targeted at your audience will increase the validity of your website and the freshness or signs that your site is alive and growing will also increase the automatic SEO advantages. That is why I pro promote getting testimonials, get pictures and videos. We could use that to constantly show the movement of your business. Um, a much la elaborate detail is available on my site. We'll talk about that after. But going back, if you see in the middle, social signals from regular sharing and engagement, two things. You must be involved in the social side of life, and there's two particular areas, professional and then the customers. Professional, like hooking up with other contractors, general contractors, property managers, and so forth, create a LinkedIn profile. It is literally one of the most powerful in social engagements from business to business peers. But ensure you have your website connected when you set up your profile and join industry groups, such as uh, one of the best ones for this industry happens to be uh, organized by the moderator of this webinar, Construction uh, Business Owners Group. Join it, participate in it, and I could help you out after which to explain how you could better participate and get better exposure to your website through participating in these forums. Same thing goes with customers. Create a Facebook company profile but here's the key point. Separate your personal versus business life. As much as I want to work with a lot of people here, and I will, on a business level, I do not include it in on my uh, personal level. It's my two separate lives. Facebook allows you to do that. So if you look on the top right-hand corner where I have a picture of me, I also could use Facebook in my online toolbox mode. And when I do, up comes a completely different business environment that is totally separate from pictures of me with my kids and soccer and so forth. So keep that in mind to separate your personal life versus your business life in order to attract more of your customers. Number 19, understand search with your own eyes. There are so many things you could do passively while watching a sporting event or just hanging out to see how other activities going on. In this case, the video that I showed a moment ago, when I typed in just last night, contract to websites, I turned out that literally on the top two pages, my video from earlier in the year is still bringing active activity from February of a post that I did earlier in the year. This is what you could do with your own jobs, with your own customers, with your own service locations. But the key thing is, when you get your next job, where are you going to load your content? You're going to give it away to somebody who's trying to sell leads to other people, or are you going to look to benefit three months to six months down the road to generate more leads to your site. Number 20 is recognize the difference. Over and over again, the majority of the contractors on this phone, just based on the nature of the game, are more focused on sales in the immediate future rather than marketing. The lead gen companies know that, and they benefit when contractors in mass do not position for future opportunities. But the problem is, Future opportunities are only three to six months down the road, but everybody's looking to buy that lead for next Friday and next uh, month's activity. It doesn't work that way. So just remember, it's your content. Where will you place it next? The key thing is, if you place it in the right place, in the right manner, and it's all teachable, you're going to lead yourself to a road, uh, a road of golden opportunities three to six months down the road, which comes in the blink of an eye. I know I'm going fast, so I have to do a quick summary. First, verify who owns your site. Two, start today. Let's not wait. Check your 301 redirect. Make sure your phone number is on each page. And remember, check your voicemail messages as soon as we're all hanging up the uh, phones from this webinar. Do not purchase links under any circumstances. Get credible inbound links. And if you want one from my online toolbox, just ask me after the webinar. Reciprocate with outbound links. Help engines learn your site with internal links. Make sure when you're doing so, you use the appropriate anchor text to let a Google better understand your website. And make sure each page has the appropriate title tag. Separately, make sure all of those pictures have the appropriate descriptions. Get testimonials over and over again. And if you're having a hard time strategizing how to get them, please ask. Keep your site alive with changes, additions, and home page support. Circle homepage support because it's critical. 
Don't compete against yourself with lead gen terms and conditions. If you haven't signed up, read it. For amusement, you probably won't sign up. But if you have signed up already, load and optimize any content first on your own site before giving it away to somebody else. And as the bonus extra few items, as a reminder, videos on YouTube are ridiculously advantageous and for free. Content is everything, and right now you have the upper hand going forward that where you decide to put your content can change the game going forward. Social engagement must include both the professional environment uh, and uh, customers, and remember when doing so, separate your personal life from your business life. It's easy to understand search engine with your own eyes, so when you're making decisions on how to title a page, first look to see what Google is doing to index other competitors, and then leverage that information when you're making your final decisions on what to put as title tags. Make sure you believe that marketing is part of your life, because it is. It's the main success for where you're going to tomorrow. Anything you do with a sale is nothing other than focused on today. A couple of things in order for, me to say, uh, for you to hopefully say thank you to me. One is by when you come to my site to pick up more information, give us a like on the home page. I'll explain that advantageousness at a later time. Also, remember we have a separate Facebook page, and you can connect to us there. I would like to also thank Devin and uh, Michael Stone for putting this on, and I'd like to repeat always and over and over again to please uh, invest and read their A Markup and Profit of the Contractor's Guide Revisited. I have yet to have a customer who does not bring in more sales, manage their jobs more effectively, and make more money when reading that book. Last but not least, Go to the webinar page. It was just updated right before this webinar started. And everything I just said in a very fast pace has links for more detail on just about any other topic, uh, including you could also sign up to let's take it to the next level for your site. And for the few customers that are here that are a little bit more advanced and are positioning to go much deeper, you can now also follow us on Twitter. And we'll talk about Twitter uh, marketing at a later time. My name is Brian of My Online Toolbox. I hope this 15 minutes for the 20 ideas was quickly um, informative and entertaining. And I hope to see some of you uh, looking to talk to me to help turn it up a notch quickly and move into 2014 differently than you've done in the past. Thank you very much. And Devin, if there's anything else, I hope I cut it. You did fantastic, Brian. That was great. Um, we promised 20 minutes, and we're almost there, so we're going to just <clears throat> go ahead and say goodbye. Brian, thank you so much. Thank everyone who attended here, and you all have a great Christmas. Brian? Have a happy new year, everybody, and thank you so much. And let's make sure that we're able to bring down the whole lead generation game into your favor. Yes. And um, I look forward to helping you all out. Thank you, Devin, and thank you to everybody who came for the few moments.